da, 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 da. Just makes me happy because the countdown to Christmas is on. It is just 25 days away. That means lots of holiday festivities and all the fun. It is happening across the Charlotte area. And one of the biggest Christmas celebrations that happens every single year is in McAddenville. It is known, after all, as Christmas Town USA. Now, McAddenville, it's more, they expect more than 600,000 visitors this year, just in this season alone. It's a big boost for some local businesses. So everyone's happy. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal joining us live. Jane, you get this fantastic assignment because the lights are going to come on in about 24 hours there. And when that happens, Christmas Town USA is in full effect. Absolutely, Carolyn. It'll be a great assignment if I have this tomorrow. But even right <laughs> now, it is nice. The sun actually poking out here. Uh, but this right here bound to be one of the best spots in front of the newly open river room, the tap room here right on the pond. It's going to be one of the best seats to see those floating Christmas trees light up and officially kick off Christmas Town USA. Now, there's a lot more parking than there's ever been here. There's a lot more to do than there's ever been here. And I think all of us businesses are certainly banking on having a huge December. I mean, that's a part of having a business here in McAdenville is having the opportunity to, you know, greet five or 600,000 guests, you know, in a one month period and invite them to, you know, engage with your business. John Searby, executive director of the Catawba Riverkeeper, says moving the nonprofit's headquarters to McAdenville falls in line with her principles. And from great water, he says, comes great beer. Why is an environmental nonprofit running a tap room? I always tell them because not only is it helping fund our mission, but it helps us tell the story about our mission. As the anchor unit in the Dynamo 31 building in town, Searby says it's exciting to be on the front end of new businesses heading to this small town in Gaston County. And Christmastown USA is not the only reason. Around the corner on Main Street, Dwayne Hedrick is making sure they're well stocked for tomorrow and the month of December. He and his wife opened up 115 Craft in June. This is our first year here, so just looking forward to kind of seeing how it's going to play out. And I'm anxious, nervous, excited. Uh, I love Christmas, so this is perfect for us. 115 Craft is the couple's second tap room location. But Hedrick says they fell in love with the town and love seeing the growth. Yeah, the people are amazing. Um, it's definitely Christmas town almost year round. Everybody's happy to be here and, you know, happy to have us. Well, Hedrick asks everyone to be patient, be patient with the traffic that's going to start tomorrow. Be patient with the people serving you because this town is going to swell up for the next few weeks. Another tip from locals is try to get here before five or even as close to five as possible. Park the car, walk around the shops as this area is becoming more pedestrian friendly. Live in McAdenville, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Hey, Jane, you know, I the first time I went to McAdenville to see the lights, um, we got there, I thought early, waited in line, because the lines are long when you're in your car. And it took mm, so long mm -hmm. that by the time we actually got into oh. the area, the lights were turned off. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It, it closed. It was oh, ridiculous. Carolyn. I mean, I had a, a good <laughs> attitude about it, but I, I was imagining how beautiful well, that, yeah. it was. I mean, it really, that's, that's what matters. Exactly. All right, Jane, thanks. It's all in the mind's eye anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>